Okay, students. Today I will explain you and discuss a general quadrature formula for EQ distance ordinate. Yes, okay. Uh, let y is equal to f of x be the given function and i is equal to, let us suppose i is a to b y dx. Suppose that fx is given for certain equally distinct values of arguments x0, x0 plus h, x0 plus 2h up to so on. Let the range uh, b minus a that is the integral from a to b so the range is b minus a let the range b minus a be divided into n equal parts each of with h therefore b minus a is equal to nh okay let x0 is equal to a starting point yes and x1 is equal to a plus h x2 is equal to a plus 2h and xn is equal to a plus nh or which is the last point which is b and the n plus 1 coordinates yes yeah let x0 is 1 x1 is a plus 1 x2 is this one this one this one and the n plus 1th ordinate that that is y1 y2 y0 y1 yn are at equal intervals are defined as i is equal to a to b y dx and in place of y that is the y is equal to f of x yes y x 0 to x plus nh yes. so if you are taking the in if you substituting here u is equal to u is equal to x minus x 0 by h so x is equal to u h plus x 0 so this integral become yes here substituting the values for x at place x0 that is u is 0 to n. Yes, you get something. Okay, students. Now, substituting in this interval. So, i is equal to h times, yes, here differentiating, yes, dh du dx become, yes, you can say here, h u u h is equal to x minus x u so h d u which is equal to d x substituting here in place of d x h d u so you this become this or x this is x is u h plus x zero yes i think you have clear okay now substituting so i is equal to h times 0 to n here y of this is yes so expanding this is you get y0 plus u delta y0 plus u into u minus 1 by factorial 2 delta square y0 plus u into u minus 1 into u minus 2 by factorial 3 delta cube y0 and the last term plus up to u into u minus 1 u minus 2 up to u minus n plus 1 divided by factorial n delta n yes okay now the here the limit from 0 to n in integrating this with respect to u so here is y0 u here is u square by 2 ok similarly so on terms so integrating and taking the limit from 0 to n you get h times n y0 plus n square by 2 delta y0 plus this one up to n plus 1 and yes ok students I think you have cleared it and this is the general quadrature formula. Okay. And similarly, on the same way I have defined you the next formulas. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Next one is trapezoidal rule. Yes. Next formula is let us trapezoidal. On the same basis. Yes. From general quadrature formula. Yes this one equation one here yeah, this is i and which is this from this general quadrature formula for substituting n is equal to one and neglecting second and higher differences when n is one then it become y yes here, here you see that i is equal to h 
n by 0 n square by s something yes so here you also x0 to x0 plus h y dx yes and here is in the general formula you take here x0 to x plus n h yes so, so for the first interval you have take the only one term that is h times y0 plus half of delta y0 so this become h times y0 and half and delta y0 which is y1 minus y1 okay so solving this equation you get this one yes similarly for the second interval yes that is from x0 plus h2 x0 plus 2h y dx okay for the same steps you revise okay then you get h time here you get y1 plus y2 divided by 2 on the same lines repeating the same you get from uh, the integral from x0 plus n minus 1h to x0 plus nh by dx is equal to you get h times y1 that is n minus 1 plus y2 that is yn divided by 2. Adding these, yes, 1 to n, these terms, adding these integrals, n integrals, we get h times half of here the y0 is here. Uh, here is not any y0. So y half of y0. Yes. Half of half of y0 plus yn plus y1 plus y2 plus up to yn. This rule is known as trapezoidal. Yes, I think you have cleared it. Also earlier I have explained you. So in, if you go to in, the, in this form, then you can clear it. Okay, next. Next. Uh, is the Simpson's one-third rule. Yes. Simpson's one-third rule. From the general quadrature formula, putting n is equal to 2, that is x0 to x0 plus 2h. So the integral x0 to x0 plus 2h, y dx. And now, here, you see here, in the general formula x0 x0 to x0 plus nh yx this this is the general formula okay so in the general formula you get here you see here. h times n is 2 2h n is square by 2 that is n n is square that is 4 by 2 that is this one and delta of y0 yes delta of y0 which become 2 times y1 minus y0 plus n cube by 3 yes n cube by 3 that is 8 by 3 minus 2 and similarly the same term. calculating this you get ok let's clear it calculating this you get h by 3 y0 plus 4 y1 plus y2 ok students you have clear Next round. Okay. Similarly, yes. similarly the in the next interval that is x0 plus 2h. Yes. 2x0 plus 4h because here is n is 2 times 2 then 4 y dx. On the same steps you get you can calculate the same way. Here is you get h by 3. Yes. This one is here. H by 3 y0 plus 4y1 plus y2. Yes. On the same way for this interval from x0 plus 2 years to this point you get again y2 plus 4y3 plus y Adding these up to the last term, nth term, you get y n minus 2 plus 4 times y n minus 1 plus y n for n is given. Adding these integrals, we get, yes, last one, you get h by 3, y 0 plus y n plus 4 times of this one. If you see here, the 4 times y 1, and here, here is 4 of y 3, so you get 
वाई वन प्लस वाई टू प्लस वाई एन माइनस वन प्लस टू ऑफ इवेंट टर्म्स ओके स्टूडेंट्स I have explained you and also defined you some. All uh, also you, here you see all the terms. Adding these these terms, y two is here, y two is where, in one place. So in four times of this is only. So here is four times of this is. Yes. So you get this formula is known as Simpson's one third rule. Yes, students, clear. And also I have defined you some other rule similarly. Simpson's three eight rule from general quadrature formula one putting n is equal to three we have x zero so x zero plus three h y dx yes here you see from the general formula here n is three see from here. H is three, H time n is three, three time y zero, n is square by two. Similarly, for y to y two minus one, this one. So if you are applying n is square, that is n nine by two, y one minus y zero, and similarly, this one is solving this one. You get this. four by. Four by nine by four by two minus two y one plus y zero plus this one. And if you calculating these terms, then you get three h by eight y zero plus three y one plus three y two plus y three. Similarly, the same term, the next term, x three h to six h. You get again here is y zero. Up to here is uh, the differences from three three three, so y zero, y three, y one then y four, y two then y five or y three then y six. Yes, clear. Repeating the same the, for the nth term, we get three h by two that is y n minus three, three times y n minus two plus three times y n minus one plus y. Yes, clear it. Yes, no questions. No. Okay. Adding these integrals, we have x zero so n h is equal to yes. Adding these here is this one three h by eight three h by eight. So this you get y zero plus y n three times of this is plus three times of this. Is. This formula is known as Simpson's. Three eight rule. Okay, students. Similarly, I have defined you also the gradient rule. What is from the general quadrature formula one putting n is equal to six. We have x zero to x zero plus six h y dx is equal to h. Here is six in place of n is y is n number is six. So six eighteen and you get these terms. Okay, here the general. Okay, here the coefficients of delta is delta to the power six y zero differ from three point ten. Actually, if we calculating the delta of this one, delta four, delta five, delta six, because you know they, you easily know delta and delta square are this is. Eh? So uh, we replace three by ten in place of the factorial of four divided by one by two, because in this term. So. Uh, actually, if you calculating this, the last term of delta to the power six, then you get the approximate value of this. Is so we replace this one. So we substituting here is three by ten. Yes. So the, this is the same h six of y zero. This is this is this is, and also in place of this, we substitute three by ten. Okay. Now adding these terms, you get this one. Okay, my delta y zero, you know, delta square y zero, no delta q y zero, no. Similarly, these terms you get this one. Similarly, for the second six plus twelve h, you get the same term. Okay, and now from the n minus six to this, this is the n minus six plus five times n minus five plus y four eight. That is n minus six four. Six y nine, that is equal, 
adding these integrals we get this is okay actually this formula is known as the Bader's rule okay actually this is the higher number that is m n is equal to a then here you calculate also the delta 6 like that yes so for this is you calculate only these the, this term similarly on the earlier as you uh, calculate the delta square is in place of here uh, in the other term Simpson's one third rule also three eight rule just here you calculate y delta y1 y1 minus y1 minus 0 delta square is this is delta cube is this is yes so in on the same way you get the better term yes student i think you have cleared it yes and uh, if you have any problem please ask me okay students okay okay thank you next video i have defined you some error of the uh, trapezoidal rule and also Simpson's rule also. Okay, thank you.